Transport phenomena in Biosystem Module 4, Shell Momentum Balances. With me, Yusuf, from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Phenology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about the module overview. In this segment, we will discuss about shell momentum balances. Viscous flow problems can be solved by setting up momentum balances over a thin shell of the fluid. For steady flow, the momentum balance can be expressed by equation 4.1. This is a restricted statement of the law of conservation of momentum. In this module, the momentum balance is applied only to systems in which there is just one velocity component, which depends on only one partial variable. In addition, the flow must be rectilinear. There are seven steps for setting up and solving viscous flow problems. First, identify the non-vanishing velocity component and the partial variable on which it depends. Second, write a momentum balance of the form of equation 4-1 over a thin shell perpendicular to the relevant partial variable. Third, let the thickness of the shell approach zero and make use of the definition of the first derivative to obtain the corresponding differential equation for the momentum flux. Fourth, Integrate this equation to get the momentum flux distribution. Fifth, insert Newton's law of viscosity and obtain a differential equation for the velocity. Sixth, integrate this equation to get the velocity distribution. And last but not least, use the velocity distribution to get other quantities such as the maximum velocity, average velocity or force on solid surfaces. After the integration, several integration constants will appear which can be evaluated by using boundary conditions, that is, statements about the velocity or stress at the boundaries of the system. The most commonly used boundary conditions are as follows. First, at solid fluid interfaces, the fluid velocity equals the velocity with which the solid surface is moving. This statement is applied to both the tangential and the normal components of the velocity vector. The quality of the tangential component is referred to as the no-slip condition. Second, at a liquid-liquid interfacial plane of constant x, the tangential velocity components vy and vz are continuous through the interface, as are also the molecular stress tensor components. Third, at a liquid gas interfacial plane of constant x, the stress tensor components tau xy and tau xz are taken to be zero, provided that the gas high velocity gradient is not too large. This is reasonable since the viscosities of gases are much less than those of liquids. In all of these boundary conditions, it is presumed that there is no material passing through the interface, that is, there is no absorption adsorption, dissolution, evaporation, melting, or chemical reaction at the surface between two phases. For the next segment, we will discuss about flow of a falling film. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology, Bandung.